What's up, Divas and Divos? It's your girl, April. So you guys already know what time it is. It's Real Talk Wednesday. Um, I thought I would just probably try to kill like three birds with one stone. You know, the saying is two birds with one stone. But I figured I would try three birds with one stone, like my makeup while I'm doing the Real Talk. And I'm going to put on a wig that I made for this company. So that's like killing three birds with one stone. So that way I don't have like a very long day. You know what I'm saying? So I hope you guys are on board for that. Before I even start off this real talk, um, I wanted to say thank you to um, my girl, um, Bonita, who sent me a birthday card in my postal box, as well as that as another one of my divas here. So I did like these little happy birthday um gotta get them out first gotta get them out happy birthday um i don't know if you call these like glitter but they're stars in their birthday happy birthday so she put this in a card and this is mariah g so i wanted to tell her thank you also also thank you for a big gift card for one of my favorite stores you guys already know the Dollar Tree. So yeah, she sent me a birthday gift card for the Dollar Tree. And you know what's so crazy? I had dropped I had dropped my son off to work. And you when you when you drive past his job, there's a Dollar Tree in the plaza next to um uh what's that store called by TJ Maxx and Marshall's um home goods is this there's home goods there's um burlington which is really nice i like that burlington um not ross um and um marshall's and old navy and then there's a dollar tree and there's a bunch of other stuff too but that dollar tree like i don't really go to that much because i mean like it's okay like i ain't really about to you know so i really did i was gonna go in there okay i was about to go in there and see what they have but then i was like nah i'm just gonna go ahead to my post office box and sure enough look when i went to my post office box there was my dollar tree gift card so good thing i didn't go because i have a gift card but i still wasn't gonna go spend my gift card in that dollar tree so i do thank you two ladies very much for my birthday cards my birthday was nice um i had a really good time you know, I spent it at Bath and Body Works. That's me. And with my kids, I don't really do too much shit. So, you know, it is what it is. So, I hope you guys like the new backdrop. So, you know, I try to spruce it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, before we even get into Real Talk, I'm, I'm trying to think. I, I know there was something that I had to tell y'all. And now I can't even remember for the life of me what the fuck it was. Like, seriously. I'm sitting here trying to remember for the life of me. What I wanted to tell you guys. And I can't remember. I think that has to do with um, getting old. Because I seriously cannot remember what I was about to tell you guys. Okay, well, anyway. So anyway, the hair that I'm going to be doing a video on today is... Bam! Isn't she cute? Like, her name is Outre. 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 Her name is Otri. But anyway, so this is by Young Tay Hair. This is this is supposed to be kinky hair. This is what they say it is. But this ain't kinky hair. This is deep wave. I don't know why they call this kinky, but this is this is deep wave hair. And it's 16 inches. I, I you know, it's 16 inches, 16, 16. I'll definitely put the information below. And I can't remember if it's Brazilian or Peruvian or but it's nice hair. It's just a closure wig that I made. So I used um I think I used like two bundles for it. But the thing about it is, you know, here this is me, and I'm just gonna vent real quick to you guys. Please don't rush me to do something. Like I don't like stuff like that. Like, don't do that shit to me. Like for real. Like I, you know, when you when when I when I respond to emails. I'm always telling the companies, like, you know, it's 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 three to five weeks business days to get a video response done by me. Like, so you think about if it says three to five weeks, you were looking at five weeks. Like, this is what I'm going to say to myself. If you put three to five weeks, then, uh, yes, a bitch, your shit is not going to be ready until, like, five and a half weeks. Okay? So, like, when I, when I, when I, when I send that to them and they agree, please don't, like, email me like a week after I get the hair talk about well how's the video going is it done yet like girl or oh boy please I didn't say three to five weeks on that like maybe I should put it in layman's term two months hello you know what I'm saying but anyway so that's why I said I'm about to kill three birds with one stone I'm about to murder them today I'm about to murder them birds today and we're gonna kill three of them with one stone all right so yes, let's get this popping. Um, 
there, I know there was something that I have to tell y'all, but you know, it is what it is. I, I don't even remember. So, hey, I, I seriously do not remember. So, I mean, if I remember doing a video, I will definitely let you guys know. Um, I did do a new video on, um, some dollar makeup from shop miss a that they sent me they got like some amazing stuff you guys like seriously like they have for a dollar like you cannot be a dollar like take your ass to the dollar tree store and see what you come out with like i love the dollar tree store but their makeup is not like to die for like you ain't about to be jumping over doing sprints and hurdles and cartwheels and backflips to get to their makeup section like i know i'm not but i mean like they have some decent things but shop miss a Girl, hmm, they had like these, they got these new concealers that's by them, the AOA brand. Honeys, they make like all the real expensive ones or even the cheap ones that everybody loves, like Pro LA Girl Pro Concealer, look like garbage. And they're only a dollar. Like, I am in love with the payoff, the consistency, everything. Like, serious, for real. But anyway, so I did do my eyebrows off camera and I got these bomb lashes on that I've had on for a couple of days. Um, and it's from the eyelash book that I did a review on. I absolutely love it because you get, I think I got like, I know I think the first pair, the first book that I got, I think it was like, I want to say it was like 20 pair. I don't know if I'm exaggerating or not, but I know the second book was like 10 or 12 pair. I want to say that. I hope I'm not exaggerating, but she does put some really nice lashes in that book. Um, and it's like, they're all strips, of course. And these ones, I really do like these ones a lot. Um, for real, these ones are really, really nice. And I've had these on for a couple of days now. So, you know, and like I said, they strip. So I've had them on for a couple of days because I just leave them on, you know, I glue them with the individual glue and I just leave them on. So that way I don't have to walk around looking like Kermit. I, I'm really not trying to look like Kermit. But anyway, so let's get into this real talk. I'm starving and it's hot. And I hope you guys don't hear the fan going. Um, also, I wanted to say thank you to everybody that replied to my um, real talk like a few weeks ago, like a week, some, some weeks ago regarding the ceiling fan. Like I wasn't even asking for help, but you know what? That's the cool thing about you ladies that I was talking about it and venting about it and you guys came up with a solution. So I never knew that the switch on the ceiling fan made the, the, um, the blades spin a certain way. So... I looked at the spinning of the blades in my room versus the blades downstairs and the fan in my room was spinning the opposite way. So, which means that it was attracting the heat and bringing heat. I never knew this. I've lived in this house for five years in July and I've never known this. Okay. Wish I would have been vented about it, but I was venting inside. Okay. So I went and I looked up and I seen the switch. I said, oh, is that what that's for? Okay, never knew. You know what I'm saying? So I first I turned the thing off. I just turned the ceiling fan off completely because it took me a minute to find the switch on it. Because for one, the ceiling fan is black and gold, so it's really outdated. Like it's like really outdated. It doesn't even look like like they make this kind anymore. You know what I mean? The one in my room is like that. The one downstairs, the three downstairs do not look like that. But anyway, so um I couldn't find the switch. I said, well, maybe this one doesn't have a switch, so I'm going to just go and switch it off. So as soon as I switched it off, you can feel like the heat leaving the room. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it was gone. It was like evaporating out the room. So I was cool with that. I would come in from into my room and it would feel like a room, not like hell. It didn't feel like I was walking into hell. You know what I'm saying? Here come the devil and she walking into her hell, her, her, her hell room. Like that'd be me. So I was cool with that because... Hey, I don't need the fan on. If the fan is spinning and it's killing me, then I don't need it on because I couldn't find the switch. So finally, eventually, I found the switch and I'm like, great. The, the ceilings are huge. They're very tall. There's no way I'm going to be able to get to the switch. Then I said to myself, hold up, self. You got some poles from your setup, your backdrop setup from like years ago that you don't even use because, you know. So I took that long pole and I switched it to... I can't remember if it was down or upward. Okay, I think it was upward. So I switched the switch to whatever opposite direction I switched it. And then I turned it back on. Can you tell a bitch why it didn't even work anymore? Like when I say it didn't even work anymore, like when I switched it for it to spin the other way, the shit was not coming on at all. Like I'm like, great. So now the fan doesn't want to spin in that direction and it's not going to work. So then I switched it back down the switch and 
turned the fan on because it's connected to the wall and it started spinning again. It was spinning at the hell level. You know what I'm saying? There's cool level and there's hell level. I said, you know what? I'm just going to leave it off because if it doesn't want to work <coughs> on the cool level, then I'm going to just leave it off on the hell level. And thank goodness that <coughs> um, I was told this because I never knew that that switch was for that. And like I told my husband that and he didn't even know. So who would have thunk it? So thank you ladies for that. So now let's get into this real talk. If you want a real talk that is about yourself, like, you know, you like everything about you, or it's about some people that you don't like, you can always send me an email to muppetismylover2012 at gmail.com. Please make sure to put in the subject line real talk. So that way I know it's a real talk email. And if it's really, really urgent, you can definitely put um, urgent real talk, which I'll be more than happy to get to right away. So let's get this popping, you guys. Huh? 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 What? Damn. Real trap. All right, you guys. So, real talk. Bra talk. Bra talk. Okay. Hey, Diva. You helped me before. Bless you. She gave me some blessing hands. As I, wrote, as I wrote before, you are my favorite YouTuber, the real one, the one I watch every video and always thumbs up. Please bring the thumbs up back on your videos because I did just like eliminate them. Only on Real Talk, I'll leave them up. Today, I have a short question. How the heck do your boobs look so good? Sorry for such a question, but I have one baby. I breastfeed, and they don't look so plump and round as yours after five kids. Maybe you could share some tips and show what kind of bra and gadgets you wear. They are so pushed up, I get jealous after every try on haul. You so sexy, mommy. Se you, you're so sexy, mama. Seriously, if it isn't a good real talk topic, just take it as a compliment. Love, Maya. Okay, so... Now, I did show you guys this before, um, and I, listen, okay, I'm going to tell you guys one more. Thank you, Maya, because um, let me tell you something. I definitely, definitely like for my boobs to be sitting up, girl, like seriously. I'm trying to find one, but hold on one second. Hold on. Okay, so Maya wants to know basically how I keep my bra or my boobs sit up and look so rounded in like my trial hauls um, because I have five kids and she has one and she breastfeeds and her boobs don't, never look like mine's plump and round. So first of all, that's that's like a question like I, I'm pretty sure like a lot of people have, not towards me, but just like in general, like, you know what I'm saying? You see someone whose boobs just like always sitting up and you just be like, you know what I mean? Like, I listen, I got five kids. In no way, shape, or form are my boobs like they're not saggy for one. They're not saggy, but they are not plump like the bra may make them look. So the one thing let me tell you guys that I sh I'm gonna share with you guys is the type of bras that I like to wear. Okay, so for one, my boobs are not that big. They're um well being that I lost weight, they're probably like a 34. D now versus like 38 because you know I've got a little bit smaller but um, I do have a video that shows my bra hacks but I'll show you guys in this video so the bras that I like to wear and this is just a bra it's just like showing a bathing suit the same thing so I'm just gonna show you the bra the bras that I like to wear look like this they're wide okay so all of my bras are wide on the side for one I don't I don't wear bras that are so like the backs so the backs of my bras have to be wide enough okay so for one, the backs of my bras have to be wide enough, okay? And also, the sides have to be wide enough. Also, the straps in them have to be wide enough. Like, the actual um, bra straps on the side, these have to be wide enough. I don't like bras that have those thin straps. Um, they dig into my skin, and they also do not hold your boobs up. So, for one, I have to have a bra that is basically wide around so my hooks in the back do not have like two hooks like you would see like in a Victoria's Secrets bra or anything I have sometimes four and sometimes five hooks in the back and having that many hooks may be challenging to some people but for me it's a lot easier because for one it keeps the bra down you ever see like a woman that has big boobs and her bra back like the back right here is all the way like up here you know what I mean? Her boobs are like heavy. 
this eliminates anything like your bra is not reaching all the way up here and like to the center of your shoulder blades. So for one, every last bra that I own, they're all wide in the back like this. Okay. So they all have like four to five hooks in the back. They also have some of these, some of them are removable, but there's the straps on the shoulders are also very wide. So that way it's not digging into my skin. Okay. And they're also underwire bras. Okay, so they're all underwire bras. So this is this is just how my bras will make me look. And I will make sure that the strap like is high enough to where my boobs are not sagging. So if I was to like release the bra strap and allow it to just like come like right about here, like you know what I'm saying, the little clips that you can adjust it, then they would not be sitting up like this. So this is how I wear them, and this is the type of bra that I wear. I usually get my bras like um, I've gotten this one and a few others from like China. There's a website that I like to use to get to the bra to get the bras, and they're really cheap. I'll use that website, or I also go to like um, DDD Fashions or um, BBB Fashions or stores like that. Um, just anywhere where you can find bra bras that have like five hooks, then those are the best kind of bras to get and straps. You know what I'm saying? Like if you don't have like little itty bitties, then girl, you need like something that gives you a little bit more support. So these make me feel more comfortable also. Like when I'm wearing like the little small straps, like the backs be like this small. They always, my bra always ends up rising all the way to the back between my shoulder blades. And then it starts digging in my skin and I can never get my boobs to like sit up like that. So that's what I wear. That's the type of bra I wear. But, okay, so another trick that I could do, and that's not even a trick. That's just me wearing my bra. But if I really want them to like sit in closer, what I do is I'll take, um, this is a hair tie. Now you could buy the um the bra hooks that will bring your bra straps closer. You can buy those at like Walmart or the Dollar Tree. But the issue that I find with those um bra hook things that you know you use for your bras is that they're plastic and you if your boobs are big, they're not really going to work. And also when they're not working properly, they're digging into your back. So what I do is I take like a hair tie and I take my bra strap. And I just pull them together like that. And usually I have like my daughter do it so it's down a little bit further. But being that she is, this is a video, I'm just going to show you guys. And I take it, now mind you, it's down a little bit further. And I will pull it real tight. And then I'll just loop it around. But being that I had to do it myself, it's down, it's up too high. But normally it's like down here, like where you can't see it. And it will make my boobs sit up higher, okay? This is not something that I do every day, but it's like when I have like something certain to wear, then I do that. So that's how I make them pull up and come in a little bit more. It's with like one of those. Come on, damn thing. But when I don't use it, then, so this is what it looks like, you know, prior. And this is what it looks like, just regular bra. So not that much big of a difference, but, you know, it'll just pull them up some like that. But, yeah, that's what I do with my bra. Um, that's the type of bra I wear. Um, like I said, I get them from, like, various places, and this is another one that I have. They're all wide back. So, like, this one has five hooks in it, okay? Five hooks in it. All right, so the backs are wide enough. And this is a... Um, I got this one from Rose Gal, and I liked the straps on it, but the only thing is the hooks that you would remove into were plastic, which defeated the purpose, so I switched them out from another older bra that I had. But yes, these are the ones, these are the type of bras that I wear, and I always make sure that they have, um, you know what I'm saying, some underwire, because girl, please, I can't go outside without no damn underwire. Shoo. And I can't go outside with no little, um, no bra straps neither. So, Maya, I hope that was helpful for you, okay? And if you need a link or whatever, um, please let me know. Uh, hopefully, I'll remember to post it below. All right? So, we're going to get into the next video. I mean, not the next video, but you guys know what I'm saying. The next Real Talk. <clears throat> and this is one that I wanted to do last week, but I was trying to, like, basically, um, alleviate so 
I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup while I read this. And hopefully I'll remember to tell you some tell you guys. So this is the um AOA primer spray from Shop Miss A. Okay, so hello Miss April. This is Brie again. I don't know if you remember me, but I was the girl who had the issue with my job that was overworking me. The real talk I sent was in May, uh, May 11th, or the real talk that you did was May 11th. And not allowing me to, to have a day off. Okay, so the real talk, excuse me, um, that I last sent you was about the job that was overworking me and not allowing me to have a day off to spend with my family. Well, here's an update. I got a new job working in the hospital and my last day at that crazy job you did a real talk about was yesterday so she actually stopped working at that job june 16th and i did the, the real talk may 11th okay but anyway if you don't remember that's okay to i remember you girl i have another my memory ain't that bad i have another issue that has just risen today okay so my best friend since i was in the seventh grade i am 20 now it's having a birthday party today. At first, it was just going to be an all-girls birthday party in a hotel. I was cool with that, so we started planning, and I helped her pick out some decorations for it last week. So this is the um, YSL primer. Or, um, primer. Fast forward today. I see she sent out a public invite to all her friends, male, males included, about the location and room of the hotel party. I quickly inboxed her, stating, Hey, I thought this was an all girls party that you are having to you are having and do you know any of these people you invited? She replied stating, I wanted it to be more fun and so I invited everyone and they all said they're coming over. I asked you <clears throat> are guys and so excuse me. So I asked her are guys sleeping over too? And she replied, yes, is that a problem? I responded to her stating, yes, because I am not comfortable drinking while guys are over. She sent a laughing emoji and said, why are you so paranoid? It's just like going to a club. I told her it's not, it's not like going to a club. It's different because we are not sleeping over in a club. Plus, I don't like clubbing anyways. My friend is turning 21 and I will turn 21 this October. And although I know I am an adult, I am still not comfortable with the whole clubbing and drinking till I pass out anywhere by. She told me the only reason the guys are coming and going to spend the night is because they're going to bring some weed. Although I don't smoke at all, now I'm really paranoid. I follow my guy, my <clears throat> I follow my gut and told her, I'm sorry, I cannot go. Maybe tomorrow, Monday, I can take her out to eat or something. She hung up on me and later that night stated, you ain't no real friend anyway. You always put in your schooling and family over your friendship and I'm sick of it. Have a nice life. Bye. I felt heartbroken and didn't respond. It's late now, but why do I feel so boring for my age? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like smoking. I'm not a huge drinker unless I'm with family, my boyfriend or real close friends that I drink with, but not till I pass out. Even in high school, people call me boring with a little style. I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. I'm in college for nursing, and I'm getting my driver's license this year to help travel to school and home without relying on the city bus. With her comments, she made me feel like I'm just some boring old woman who is never fun. Plus, is she not the only one? She is not the only one who has called me boring because a lot of people call me that in high school. Please help me, Miss April, on what to do with this situation. Should I contact my friend back and see what I can do or just let her be? Am I being a boring 20-year-old? I just don't want to mess my future up doing the wrong things, but I don't want to be cautious or boring for the rest of my life. Please respond back when you can. Thank you so much. I love and appreciate you and all that you have done. So, hmm. let me make sure I want to see what she wanted to call herself. Bree. So Brie basically is 20 years old, and you guys, I don't know if you remember her from my last Real Talk, but I did a Real Talk on her back in May, May 11, where she worked a job, and someone quit on her job, so she was working seven days a week for this job, okay? So, you know, I did let her know the situation, and she basically found a new job, which is great. Now she has another situation, her friend, we're just going to gonna call her friend Debbie. Okay, because Debbie's acting like a Debbie Downer. And I know Debbie Downer might go for some other shit, but right now she's acting like a Debbie Downer. So, her friend Debbie was turning 20, like around the same time as my birthday, and she was having a... Hold on. 
So basically, her friend was having a get-together party for her and some young ladies at a hotel. You know, just a girls' night, party night, and stuff like that. And they were just going to chill. So Brie got wind that her friend, Debbie, basically went on, like, social media and put out a public invitation to everyone. So whoever seen it and wanted to come through was more than welcome, okay? So that meant anybody, any hood rat, any mass murder, any rapist, anybody could just come through to the party. Even if she didn't even know them and she just friend requested them or friend accepted them through social media, they was coming if they said they was coming, okay? Which I think is crazy. Like, I don't understand why people do that. But anyway, before I even get keep going, keep going, this here that I'm using is the Manuka Honey Oceanic gold mineral replenishing eye cream so i've been using this for a week you have to use a day and evening i mean morning and evening this is just for like the dark circles or puffiness under the eyes and lately like i haven't really been getting a lot of sleep so i've been getting like dark circles and definitely under my left eye it's like really dark and like kind of like puffy or baggy or i don't know but this is supposed to help. So I did see a little bit of, you know, change. Not a lot, but I've seen a little bit of change. And like I said, I just use it day and night. The one thing though I like about it is, you know how you ever use some cream on your face and it gets all greasy and stuff? I already got greasy skin because it's oily. So this does not do that for me, which I'm happy about. Plus it doesn't break down my concealer or foundation. So yeah, you guys, this actually was gifted to me by Octoly. Um, you know, Octoly.com where I do like a lot of video reviews for, for in return for like some really great products. So Honey Skin Care, this is the Manuka Honey Active Oceanic Gold. And I actually do like this. And it doesn't have like a really bad smell or anything. It just smells all natural. Um, they do have like other products, but I love the packaging. It's so sleek. Plus, I'm up for trying something for my eyes because I don't want to look old. So, you guys, I will post the information to this down below for you guys. They do, like I said, have a lot of other products. But this is, like I said, the gold, the oceanic gold. And this is just the mineral replenishing eye cream. So, it gives you vitamins and pure minerals in this so that you're not putting, like, a whole bunch of junk and gunk on your face. Plus, like I said, the scent is very light. I don't even think it really has much of a scent. It has, like, honey in it and stuff, which is great. You know how you got some of those that have, like, all those perfume scents. Plus, like I said, I like the fact that it doesn't look greasy on my under eyes and it doesn't break down like my foundation and concealer. So that is a plus. So moving on back to this. So basically, Bree's, um, Bree's friend, Debbie, had the party and she invited everybody onto social media to come through to the hotel. And so first of all, it was just supposed to be men First of all, it's supposed to just be women. No men were allowed, which Brie was comfortable with. Now you invited the whole damn city to your birthday party and maybe some other weirdos that don't even live around. And people said that they were coming. So like I said, Brie got wind to this through social media and she called up, or she didn't even call her, she sent her friend Debbie a, a message saying, hey, I thought it was just basically going to be us girls at the party. So I'm not really sure how many girls she was going to invite, but it's basically was supposed to be an all girl turning 21 birthday party for her friend Debbie. Well, then Debbie said, yeah, basically it was, but she changed her mind and decided, you know, that she wanted to be, she wanted it to be more fun for everybody. So she invited everyone and they said they was coming through. So that meant that, you know, it was guys and girls going to be at the party. And not only was the guys going to come over, but whoever wanted to stay the night over at the party was allowed to stay overnight at the party. That was hosted in the hotel room, okay? So the funny thing to me is, first of all, what makes her friend Debbie Downer, we just don't call her Debbie, Debbie think that it's cool to have all these strange people come to your party that you don't even know. This is the thing that I be trying to figure out, okay? And I mean, like, let me know if I'm being a boring person too, because I have had that same thing um, being said to me, like in my past, like, I don't like to do anything. I don't like to go anywhere. I, let me tell you something. I don't have to do what everybody else likes to do. If that's what you want to do, if you want to have strange people from outside that you don't know, that you just know through social media, spend a night in your hotel room because it's your 21st birthday, then you know what? Go, by all means, go ahead, have fun at it. That's what you want to do. And that's what the fuck you want to do. But I would not even want to be a part of no shit like that. Okay. Not to mention that now, you have rented the hotel room. First of all, hotels do not play that bullshit. 
If you are making too much noise, they're calling the police. If you're smoking in the room, they are deducting $250 or they're, they're charging, excuse me, they're charging you 200 and better to your room because you're not allowed to really smoke in hotel rooms anymore. Okay, and if they get wind that you have smoked in any of their rooms, then they are charging you anywhere from 200 and above. Second of all, why would you want a whole bunch, third of all, whatever, why would you want a whole bunch of people in a hotel room that you barely even know, okay? And you never know what's going to pop off when you get a whole bunch of motherfucking um, people together smoking and drinking. That's like the one thing that I would be skeptical of even if it was my own home i'm not inviting all those people into it especially in your home you know what i'm saying you're like okay this is my home i'm not gonna have anybody coming over here with weed and alcohol especially if i don't know them but her friend debbie basically felt like she wanted her 21st birthday to go out like a bang you know what i'm saying like she really wanted it to be a party and she really wanted to have a good time so you know, that's what she did. She decided, hey, let me tell y'all something. There are too many crazy motherfucking people out there in the world that you don't know that's fucking crazy, basically. Like, you know what I'm saying? When I say you don't know that's crazy, you don't know that half of these people out here in the world are crazy. Okay? This is the concealer from AOA, the shop I was talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you have a party in a hotel and just invite random strangers? To me, to me, that's random strangers. And I might be a little bit old fashioned, but in my eyes, that's just how I feel. Like, seriously, like, I feel like you're inviting people that you barely know, that you don't even know, to a place that you have rented out, okay, for one, to come and party with you. Let me tell y'all, for one, weed is not like a legal substance in every fucking state. And... Mm -hmm. If it is a legal substance, like out here in Arizona, you still need a weed card. You can't just be up in a hotel room thinking you're going to smoke everybody the fuck out and it's okay. So you got, maybe, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, it'd be one thing if I was in a hotel room and by myself and I was just smoking, you know, like, okay, everyone's just going to light up a blunt or she's going she gonna to hit the bong real quick. That's just me. I'm one person. However, when you got a whole motherfucking room that's overcapacitated, you know what I'm saying, with people, and they smoking and drinking, God forbid, it's coming out the windows, it's coming out the walls, it's coming from underneath the floor and all type of shit. Now, let's not mention that this bitch is talking about they can spend the night. So, all right, so what are we having, a birthday party or a motherfucking orgy? What the fuck is it? You know what I mean? Because you got a strange nigga spending the night with bitches. Like, where y'all all sleeping at? So y'all all gonna sleep on the floor, y'all gonna drink and smoke until y'all pass out? That just does not even sound right to me. Or y'all gonna drink, smoke, fuck, have an orgy, and then pass the fuck out? Or somebody gonna get raped or fondled or touched or whatever the case may be, and that's supposed to be all right. Let me tell you something, Bree. This is just in my opinion. If your friend feel like you born, then bitch, stay born and be motherfucking born, okay? I'd rather be boring than go ahead around spreading myself to strange people that I don't even know. Like, I wouldn't even be comfortable having anybody come to my hotel room and party with me that I barely even know. Like, where are we doing these things at? And it's sad because, you know what, the youth today that be, like, in their 20s or below, even, you know what I'm saying, teens, or just people in general. We're just going to use people in general because sometimes it's not even just the youth you know what I'm saying? It's just people in general. You could be my age and still not know any better and still go ahead with dumb shit and allow social media to get to you. So what I'm saying is basically like, it's a shame that people today feel like people from social media that they have never fucking met are friends to them, are cool with them, and they could just chill and hang out with them and post up fucking birthday parties on social media for everybody in the world to see. Just because you say, I like your pictures or you like my pictures, don't mean that we motherfucking friends, okay? Just because you fucking go ahead and leave a comment don't mean we motherfucking friends and I'm gonna invite you to my house. That's like me, now, I'm not saying anything bad about you ladies, but do you really think that I would fucking say, hey, it's my birthday, everybody come over, I'm gonna put my address on fucking social media to, for you guys, just because you have, you know, commented on something on my social media page, hell to the no, I'm not coming, I'm not, 
listen, let me tell you something. I got more sense than that. And even if I was out in public, I'm not about to have a whole bunch of strange people in my area that I don't know that I've just invited out to party with me because you don't know who the fuck you've invited. Just because you think these people are your friends from social media doesn't mean that all of them are actually your friends from social media. And what I mean by that is, for one, okay, hold on. This is just the AOA um, Z palette. So this is all the stuff inside right here and blushes and stuff like that, um, shadow. So like I was saying, for one, not everybody that comes from social media is your friend. So what do I mean by that? I mean this, you didn't invite it your friends that are friend requested you, are you friends with through social media? Now they done invited somebody else. Or how about this? You put a post up on social media that said, everybody come through, it's my birthday. We celebrating today. Let's get it popping. Okay. And all the people that you've accepted as your friend, they went ahead and said, Oh, I'm coming through. Oh, I'm coming through. But then somebody else that also said, I'm coming through, I'm your friend. They took your same fucking post and put it on their own page and was like, oh, I'm having a party tonight at such and such place. Come through, come through who's coming through. So now you got that person who was your friend posted on their own page and made it seem like it's their party. And now other people that you don't even know is coming through. And then it just keeps going on. The trickling effect just keeps going on. It goes from one page to another page to another page. And now you don't even know who the fuck you got coming over there. You got your friend that you thought was really your friend. And then you got a bunch of fucking weirdos popping up, talking about where's the party at, okay? And maybe destroying everything in the hotel room or your house that is possibly there to destroy. Like, who the fuck does that? Not to mention, I ain't wasn't even going to mention this, but I guess it's plain obvious. You inviting strangers over to your house or your hotel party from social media and they showing up and they popping off with guns and knives and all kind of weapons. Like, do you even think about that shit? Or you guys are all sleeping because y'all are passed the fuck out from smoking weed and drinking and shit like that. And then one of the motherfuckers that's in there might be a weirdo and might rape somebody or might rob somebody. Or better yet, might kill somebody or have beef with somebody and they wait for the right moment to cut their motherfucking throat. And then what? Now you responsible for everything that just has happened in that hotel room because you have went ahead and invited everybody from the state of motherfucking Chicago, Detroit, Hawaii, and wherever else to your party, not willingly knowing that somebody is a fucking weirdo, crazy, pervert, pedophile, mass murderer, rapist, and whatever else. Let me tell you something, Bree. I used to feel the same way about myself. And you know something? I still do sometimes feel that way about myself, that I'm boring because I don't go out. I don't like to do certain things like, okay, I have went to clubs before, even here in Arizona. And I'm going to be honest and tell you guys, there wasn't no fun in that. It was no fun. I really did not enjoy myself. Like, for one, I don't like people coming up to me talking about, hey, light skin, what's up, light skin? Hey, light skin, what's up, light skin? Like, Nigga, I know I'm light-skinned. You don't have to keep reminding me. I see myself every day in the motherfucking mirror. Like, shit like that. You got niggas that's acting all crazy talking about, hey, what's up, light-skinned? Like, I, like, really? And then it's shit like, you know, I don't really have a good time in the clubs. I don't like that loud blast of music. I just don't, I just don't find the club scene to be, you know, fun. I'm just not into the club scene. Me, personally... The things that I like to do may be boring to a lot of people, but I like to go to the motherfucking museum, okay? I like to go to the park. I like to go to the Dollar Tree. I like to do, like, family things, the aquarium, the shit like that, the zoo. I don't like to be at no fucking club and shit. I don't know what it is about me, but, you know, maybe that was in my younger days. I didn't mind, but now... And I and not even in my younger days so much because I mean like I have gone to the clubs quite enough times as a younger woman like you know in my early twenties and back then I didn't really find like it to be like you know you know how some people have to go to the club every weekend they just gotta be there they just got to be around the music and all of that shit I was never like one person to be like I gotta be there I gotta be there oh I gotta be at the club like I will go you know what I'm saying but. It wasn't like like I needed to go. Like I wasn't dying to go. I wasn't like, girl, let me get in the club type to go. Like if I was there, I was there. But as I got older, 
I don't know. Like there are women that are my age still that like to go to, to the club and no shade against them. If that's what you want to do, then that's what you want to do. Have a good time with it. But some people are just not set up for all of that. Some people don't like to do that. And Brie is one of them. Just because you don't want to go shake your ass and get drunk till you pass out and all of that shit don't mean that you are a boring person. You know what I'm saying? What's the sad thing about it is that's what your friend thinks. And she's either going to learn the hard way. Did her friend say all you care about is going to school and your schooling and your education and your job and your family? Who the fuck says that? Like, that even sounds stupid to say to somebody. I would never fix my mouth to say to somebody, all you care about is you going to school and going to work and your family. That don't even sound right to say to somebody. You sound like a fucking jackass even saying something like that like to someone because where the fuck do you sit around and say some shit like that to anybody? Like, okay, so what the fuck do you care about, bitch? Because it seems like you don't really care about much of nothing. I care about my education, yeah. I care about my motherfucking job, yeah, bitch. And I care about my family, okay. So what do you care about? Drinking till you pass out, smoking weed till you pass out, inviting strange motherfucking dicks and pussy over to the hotel room, and God knows what's going to happen to you. And then her friend, what did her friend say? Have a nice life. Let me tell you something, Brie. I wouldn't even feel bad at all if she don't never contact me no more. Because people like her, you do not need, even need in your circle. Those are the type of people who are going to, unfortunately, stare you in the wrong direction, okay? And those are the type of people that you don't even need to be around. That's the type of circle where you don't need to be around. And it's unfortunate that's supposed to be your friend. However, you know what I'm saying? She's going to have to learn the hard way. She's probably one who don't go to school like that because if she does go to school, I guarantee y'all she don't even care about her grades enough. And her grades are probably not even top priority. Because if you can fix your mouth to say to anybody how all you care about is your school, your education, and your job, and your family, then what kind of priorities does she have? Like, I mean, let's be realistic, y'all. Where do you really see her friend? Debbie in the future. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't knocking the girl because I don't know her personally, but just from reading what I'm reading, it don't even sound like, you know what I'm saying? She's like a star A student or just a star A friend in general. And that type of person, I wouldn't even want to fuck with her no more. I wish a bitch would be my friend and tell me, well, have a nice life, you boring, etc. Man, bitch, first of all, I might slap the shit out of you. But then again, you know what I probably would say? I probably would read her and let her know, you know something, you ain't about to be shit in life. Go ahead and keep partying and thinking it's all about that. Just because you're 21 does not mean that you don't have to be responsible and take responsibility for things. Just because you're 21 does not mean that you're supposed to just like not do nothing with your life and just party it all up and party all the time. This is what young people fail to realize sometimes because they feel like they're 21 or they're a certain age that they don't have to you know, be responsible for shit and they could just party it up and do whatever the fuck they want to do. And it's okay. It's not acceptable. It's not, it's not okay. This is the problem with society and young people. And I have to say this sometimes to my son who is 20 years old, he turned 20 the week before I did that just because you young, don't feel like you don't have to do shit. And the shit that you do now doesn't like, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't, Basically, the shit that you do now, that shit is going to hurt you in the long run. If So if you're getting in trouble and you're getting arrested right now at 19 and stuff, then nigga, you is fucking up your future. Just because you don't do shit now, you don't want to go to school, you feel like you're going to work and shit, it's going to work out for you. No, that shit doesn't work out for you. You know what I'm saying? Just because you're 20 does not mean that you don't have to build for your future. Just because you're 20. And that's the problem with these kids. They feel like they know every fucking thing, for one. And when you try to tell them something for their own good, they look at you with an attitude and feel like, oh, brother, you just boring. Or, or, or how about I'm hating and I'm jealous. And let me tell you something. I don't go out and I don't do like crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? That's just not me. I, like you guys already know, I don't like to be around a lot of people. And I'm going to just zoom in for you guys so you can see the makeup of camera and stuff. So anyway, like I was saying, for me, I don't, I don't go a lot of places. I don't do a lot of things like some people like to do and i'm okay with that you know what i'm saying like that's just not my thing i don't like to be partying and i don't like to like go out and act crazy and i just just the things that i don't like to do however you know what i'm saying her friend that's not a real friend so debbie is not your real friend and like i i commend you brie because if it were me and i was going to school and i was trying to better myself i wouldn't even be bothered with that bitch okay for one, I would not even be bothered with her at all. Because for two, 
she's not worth your time. What type of friend is that? So you got a friend that goes to school, takes care of her family, loves her family, and works, and you just want to drag her down with you. Damn, girl, you should be happy you got a friend like that because your slouching ass might need her in the near future. And why would you want one of your slouchy friends to be there for you when you got Brie, who's got a head on her shoulders, she's well-educated, and she's family-oriented? Okay, she ain't stuck somewhere in the middle of a hotel room, slouched out high and drunk and probably fucked everybody at the party for all she know. Like, seriously, who does that? Like, I'm sorry, but, you know, I have this is the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 201 Foundation Concealer. The color that I have is tan. So I, for one, you know, I used to feel that way about myself, you know, because I don't like to go out and party. I don't like to be around a bunch of people at one time. I don't like to, like, you know, be seen, like, publicly making a fool of myself. And, you know, I don't like to drink until I pass out, okay? I, I like to smoke weed. I haven't smoked weed, though, in months. When I say months, shit, it's probably been, like, it ain't been a year, but it's been a long time, okay? Probably, like, seven months, something like that. Um, but I don't like to do shit like that neither. So does that make me a boring person? To most people, I probably am bored. You know what I mean? And that's fine. I'm fine with that. But to myself, I'm not. And then there's people that, you know, who like to go out every day or every weekend and shit like that. I don't think me and that type of person would be good as friends because we don't got shit in common. All right. So what I find that you do might be boring. However, there are different people. I have five kids, so I am family oriented. Yes, true indeed. When I was like in my early 20s, you know, I was going out. I wasn't going out excessively and I wasn't doing crazy shit. Why do I look like a Oompa Loompa right now? All right. Why? But it's going to get better. Okay, trust me. I wasn't doing crazy shit, but I mean, I was having a good time and I was partying and I was, you know, living my best life. I guess that's what you want to call it at 20. Like, but who really lives their best life at 20? You're 20 years old. You're 21. You really don't have a life. You are still learning about shit. Hell, if I had to choose from then to now and shit that I know now, I would have definitely freaking did shit a whole lot differently. But, you know, it is what it is. Now, for me, I say like this, Brie. To each his own. If she want to party and she want to have a bunch of weird people from social media come over and party with her, then, hey, that's what she want to do. You can't change her and she can't change you. However, I do think that it was kind of fucked up that she was like, oh, you boring. Oh, enjoy your life. Bye. That's, that part to me was really fucked up because, I don't know, I just don't see that that's right. What's good for you, honey, may not always be good for the goose, okay? Like I tell y'all that all the time. What you like to do doesn't mean I have to do it. And like, you know, what do they say about people? Birds of a feather flock together. So me, honestly, Brie, I would find that her friendship ending was a blessing. Okay. Definitely was a blessing because for one, like they say, birds of a feather flock together. And for two, you don't know what could have popped off at that fucking hotel party. Okay. Somebody could have put something in somebody's drink. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Somebody could have came there and all kind of drama and bullshit and stuff that really don't need to be happening could have happened. She could have got kicked out. The police could have came. All kind of shit could have came. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, all kind of shit could have happened at that particular party. Like, I don't think that that's safe. Let me tell y'all. Strange, crazy. The same, same situation. Not on me because I'm, I don't do shit like that. But my son, the one who turned 20, he did some shit like that. Um, you know what I'm saying? He did some shit like that too, where him and his friends was having a hotel party, right? This was like some months ago, okay? They was having some hotel party. Now, the person who was paying for it was my son out of his paycheck, okay? He had just started working at Walmart, all right? Just started working there. So he paid for it. And on top of that, um, he... um. I think he took the day off of work. All right. So first things first, this is the this is another AOA shop, Miss A brand, AOA Studio. This is their brand. Um, Wonder Cover Concealer. This is supposed to be HD. They they forgot to mention that it was um full coverage too. So I'm gonna just use the toast color for my um contouring. And trust me, ladies, this stuff is 
the dries quickly so you don't have to sit there for too long. So anyway, like I was saying, he pays for this room and he's having a party and he put on social media the same shit, basically the same shit. And I know this because I follow him on social media. So he put this, he puts the same fucking dumb shit. And I said something, what the fuck is wrong with you? Is my exact words because I'm not about to shoot a coat nothing. I was like, basically, what the fuck is wrong with you? What are you talking about? You got you 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 putting on social media to come to some hotel room and party with you guys and and bring your own bag um shit type shit and whatever and smoke and he was like but yes because it's a hotel room i said okay and you think that you're supposed to have parties and you you supposed to have parties in hotel rooms i said first of all you're not even supposed to be smoking in a hotel room second of all you're not even over under you're not the age to be drinking third of all why the fuck would you invite people off of social media to come to some hotel room that you rented and then they come there and fuck shit up and then it's gonna be taken out of your credit card and you're the one that's gonna have to pay for it Ma, it's going to be all right. You know how they go, how they do. It's going to be fine. Everybody, you know, shit like that. Whatever. He kept saying. And, you know, I kept trying to say something. But what did he do, my son? He kept trying to tell me it's going to be fine, et cetera, et cetera. Don't worry. Nothing's going to happen at the party. It's just going to be like a little get together, et cetera, et cetera. You know what? I was like, okay, since he, think, since he thinks he knows so motherfucking much, Go ahead and let him. I'm not even going to say nothing no more because he think he know every fucking thing. And y'all is 19 and 20. Y'all y'all rowdy motherfuckers, okay? Y'all is rowdy. He think he know everything. I'm going to just leave it be. So, the next day, he didn't come home. He was still at the hotel, so he stayed there for the weekend. But when he did come home, he was bitching to me, basically, about how the police came. I wonder why, because of the noise level, okay, because of the noise level, and also because they kept smelling weed, so the police came and shut the shit down, and also the hotel, the hotel charged him extra money, okay, then for two, or for three, hold on, because yeah, for three, not only was that that happened, but my son, my son's seizure medication, okay, because he has seizures, um, was stolen. Now the fucked up thing about it was I just got that for him. All right, you know, I just got it. I don't get any type of health insurance, so I have to pay for shit. I just purchased that stuff, you know, but if you get like a prescription, like you go to like some of these sites, Rx, I think it's Rx Good or Good Rx, you can get like a significant discount. So I only end up paying like $25 for the prescription, which is great versus like $149 or $74, especially if it's done at Walmart. So I think it's called Kiprit, something like that. I can't remember the name of it, but so somebody stole his medication. So you had the police come, take your name down, okay? get charged extra by the hotel room and your medication was stolen that you just got amongst a pair of sneakers was stolen. Okay. Hmm. Sounds like party to me. Sounds like something that I would definitely want to be at partying it up with the rest of them. Like, yes, come through. I'm coming through. I'm coming through. So, and this is because what? He invited people that he didn't even know. Now, when I say he invited people that he didn't even know, let me tell you. So somebody thought that his medication was like, I guess, some popping pills. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, probably like some, what do you call that? Um, Percocets or um, what is the other one? Xanax? I don't know what they look like, so I can't compare them to what his pills look like, but maybe they look the same. I don't know. Who knows? Somebody might have just thought that that's what it was and they're going to steal it. So they stole his medication, all right? Stole a pair of sneakers that he just got, okay? Got charged like $250 extra, all right? And the police came and took your name. And you dumb fuck, you're on probation. So it's like, wow. And then you want to come home and bitch to me about how the hotel took your extra money and charged you for this. 
I just looked at him like he's that's not how he said it. He said it like this. Yeah, and the hotel stole money from me. I was like, the hotel stole money from you. What are you talking about? The hotel stole from you. Because this is what he kept saying that the hotel stole his money. They took money off his credit card. And I was like, oh yeah, because you got loud noise. You were smoking in the room. All right. For two. And um, yeah, that's what happens. But I told you that, but you just don't think that you, I know what the fuck I be talking about sometimes. So, you know, he still kept bitching about it. My God, that was my money. They shouldn't be allowed to do that. They shouldn't be allowed to do that is what he kept saying to me. Just like you shouldn't be allowed to fucking have all kinds of strange people coming up to their establishment that you don't even know, fucking up their shit and making all this noise, disrupting the peace. Same motherfucking thing, okay? So luckily nobody got hurt at that party. Not saying that somebody got hurt at Debbie Downer's party, but this is the thing. You don't know what the fuck you're getting into when you're inviting strange motherfuckers, okay? So now, see what I'm saying? My son does some dumb shit, and I'm gonna be the first to tell y'all that because he fucking does. He does some dumb ass shit, and... Not only does he do it, but I'm pretty sure that my other kids do it too. Um, just not as stupid and dumb as he does. But listen, y'all. I have spoken to him many times about the dumb shit that he does. And he's 20, but you know, some of them feel like they they know more than you. And who are you to be telling them what the fuck to do with their lives? Okay. And once you do shit like that, it's like, oh, we're hating or we're jealous, or we're just boring. Let me tell you something. I guess I'm going to be like the most boringest person in the motherfucking world. All right? Straight up. I guess I'm going to be boring as fuck because for me, getting in trouble and having all kind of weird shit happen to me and putting myself in harm's way doesn't really work out for me in my favor. Like that ass too. So basically, Brie, leave your friend alone. And she said, enjoy your life. Then, bitch, enjoy your life. Continue doing what you're doing. You you want to be cautious and you want to be careful. Who the fuck wants to go out there and jump in front of a bus? Like, I mean, like, seriously, would you just see a big-ass bus or a train and jump out in front of it and not think about the caution, the repercussions? No, you would. You think about it. So your friend doesn't think before she leaps. And she's going to jump into the flame one time and her ass is going to burn the fuck up, okay? So just leave her alone because I guarantee you she's going to come to her senses eventually. And the only way that's going to happen for a person like her is, unfortunately, she's going to have to learn the hard way. And that's the same shit I'd be saying about my son like the same fucking shit like unfortunately he's going to have to learn the hard way so this right here is the AOA studio shop miss a AOA studio I told you guys this is their own brand it's a dollar honey this is the perfect setting powder okay this shit is bomb I tried it out on this video and I was so scared to try it because I really didn't want to get no flashback but honey it really does work okay like I, I didn't I noticed a little bit but not as bad so I got brightness and I got um soft light I can't remember which one I used I think I used brightness because it was more or less my color shade um it was a little bit more close to my color because the other one was like a whitish color so I don't know maybe I didn't want to use brightness I think I'm gonna use softening because um yeah so we're gonna get on to the next real talk you guys all right All right, so this is the long one, and she ain't never lied, okay? She ain't never lied about it being long. And her cute self. Okay, Miss Tang. All right, let's go ahead and read this. All right. Look, I got to prop it up and shit because this is long. All right. Hey, Miss April. I love, love, love your videos. You have helped me get through a lot. Unfortunately, I don't 
have fam much family and my sister recently moved to Arizona. So it's refreshing to watch your videos. My story is very long, but I need your advice. I have changed the name so you won't have to. Here it goes. I have dated my current man for four years and to add that he is seven years younger. I'm 32 and he is 26. I have gotten real close to his family and his mom and I are like best friends. He treats me like a, she treats me like a daughter slash sister throughout the, throughout the, she, his mother treats me like a daughter slash sister. Okay. Throughout the years, I see she always has my back when it comes to things. This is important because once you read the rest, you will understand. Okay. Let's go ahead and read. Me and my boyfriend, we will call him Rico inside joke. Okay. I know exactly who the fuck she's talking about. All right. Oh, damn. Um, have been trying to have a baby and nothing has happened. It's so frustrating. Some people in his family cousins say it's me due to my age. Mind you, I'm 32. April, not 62. Like, are these people idiots? He has a lot of immature family members. One time his mom, who, who had his sister at 39, even said if he was with a girl in her 20s, she would get pregnant easier. Okay. I was furious, but she claims she didn't mean it in a bad way. It's just facts of medicine. As we age, so does our reproductive health, which is true, okay? You know what I'm saying? Although she claims to love me and root for me, I think that she often makes me snide. I, I think she often makes snide remarks about my fertility. However, April... Come to find out it was him and not me. We did a testing and I was perfect. Plus, I have two kids already and he has none. Trust me, no woman wants to be told that due to her age, she has old shrinking ovaries. So when I heard it was not me, I felt relief. Yeah, she read about that because I really don't want to be told that neither. But you know, it is what it is. Then to make matters worse, I find out people in my family were talking about my weight. I am not the skinniest, but I wonder why is my weight always a topic? Every time people in his family, even his old ass uncles meet me, they comment about my size, but each one of their asses secretly message me telling me to leave him for them. So I'm confused, April. Some of his younger cousins comment about my weight, even his mom. She works with one of his exes and brings up how good she looks with her new surgery. Why bring her up? She stated that she was, she stated she was just complimenting her and she does that because she is not insecure. Girl, bye. I feel she does this on purpose. As the saying goes, you, you dangle a bone and a dog will come. Well, recently a comment was made saying that out of all the girlfriends my boyfriend has had, I'm the biggest with no shape or butt. Like, who says that shit? His family had went out of town to meet up with other family members, okay? And my boyfriend stayed behind with me. The topic came up when they asked where he was and my boyfriend's parents said he was with the girl he's always with. Um, why not say he was with his girlfriend? But anyway, the people in the family were the ones to make the comments, saying I have no shape and I'm a bigger girl. They said, oh, that big girl? I'm used to Rico being with thick girls. Isn't she heavy set? Wow. Um, I, have, I may be big, but I have a damn shape. My boyfriend is very fit and he has a nice body. So to some people, they think he should be with a skinny fat girl. Oh, excuse me, with a skinny fit girl as well and not someone like myself. I'm not by all means ugly. I may weigh more, but that's okay. I'm already sad about being overweight and to top it off fertility issues. Well, this, well, his issues, not mine. I feel that people like to pick on me. And April, I am the sweetest. And it seems that people do the good wrong and the bad right. Ain't that the truth? I recently lost 30 pounds, but for me, not to please anyone. For me, not to please anyone. I told my boyfriend if he felt the same, then go back to them exes. Yes, they had a shape, but baby, they look like booger. They look like booger wolves. I'd rather be fat than look like them ever. Oh shit. Okay. Um. I am working out and continuing 
to lose weight, but I am just over people in my general talk in general talking about my weight. Why can't people look beyond that? My my self esteem is beyond low, and I have feelings. Okay, they feel he is choosing me over them. Recently, he got into a fight with his older brother because he said my stomach was huge. This was so sad, and this was and this was said only because his brother likes to brag about his many girls and loves to pick um with my boyfriend. We are both sick of it, but I also wonder with all this poison of the tongue from his own family, will he eventually start to feel the same? You know how family can be. When I heard about these comments, I asked my boyfriend, who brought this conversation up? He just said his parents told him one day when they came over, one, his mom is always so nice and claims to have my back. So why repeat that to your son? It's like she likes the negativity, but at the same time claims she's all for me. April, I'm tired of this. I was married before and my ex-husband's family did the same and dogged me so bad while I was a sweetheart to them. Now, whenever I go to his family functions, I do not want to. I end up staying home as I feel like an embarrassment. His brother brings up multiple women around me that are all small and curvy. And here my man bringing me um, and I don't measure up to anyone's um, expectations. And I'm, because I'm bigger, he's okay with me and encourages me and encourages me. But I feel like in the back of his head, of his mind, he wants me to look like a builder bitch. <sighs> this bitch said builder bitch. Let's be real. Men are visual and have preferences. I was smaller and gained weight. I feel like he will start to feel the same. Why not when society shows these perfect women and there are so many women who fit the expectations? She's so right. April, at this point, I am just over talking, all the talking about me. I'm tried, I'm, tr I'm tired of my weight being a topic. I just want to be seen as me. I want to lose weight for me. And when I do, I want shit on these haters. But until then, what do you do in my shoes? I ask you for advice as I don't have a mother figure or anyone to talk to. Oh, my mom was the start of my lack of confidence. I just want to fight the sadness I want and feel due to the cold. Um, I just want to fight the sadness I feel due to the cold words of these irrelevant people. Thanks again, April. I have entered a few pics. Please just, please just you look at it. Do not show. Of course, girl. You know what? First of all, she is not fat. I, you know, let me tell you something. Okay. Now, let me tell you something. What did she call herself? Because I can't even remember. She calls him Rico. but She didn't tell me what her name was. So I don't remember that she called. She didn't. So we just gonna call her Melinda. All right. We gonna call her Melinda. So let me tell you something. It's sad, but it's so true because society will make you feel like you have to be a certain size, like seriously. And it's that's the sad part about it is that it comes from all the social media crap, just from looking at like these Instagram models and such and like people wanting to, to look skinny or all these surgeries like listen i don't care what size you are you are a human being and i have said this in many different videos of mine before like it should not be about a person's size or what they look like or how big they are but i really think that it should be about who they are as a, as a person like you cannot go around talking about oh you big you big you fat you fat like who are you to say to anybody that they big they need to lose weight they ain't got no shape you know what i'm saying like who does that especially it's your boyfriend's mother and family like for one i don't think his mother is all for you melinda because if she was that bitch would not be fucking talking side eye shit about you she wouldn't be saying oh he's with that girlfriend or non-name calling you like you have a name Okay, for one, and if the the rest of the family doesn't know your name, then oh, he's with his girlfriend. That would have been just fine. Okay, instead of on um, that girl, like that's disrespectful right there. But two, for another reason, I don't think she's all for you because why are you talking about his ex? Like who does that? So you talking about his ex to me? Talking about oh, she looked good because she had her surgery. I would think the bitch would look good if she had surgery, wouldn't y'all? Hello, that's common sense shit. Cause if I pay for some booty and titties and a and a smaller waist, I best to look damn good, okay? I better look better than the rest of y'all motherfuckers on some real shit. Like, 
I want my shit to be popping. I don't know about y'all bitches, but if you pay for somebody to make you enhance your body, you should look good. All right. It doesn't matter. I'm listen. I don't care how you got your shape. I don't care how you got your titties. I don't care how you got your ass. I don't even give a fuck, to be honest. Like, that's your shit. If you want to have big titties, then that's fine. If you want to have a big booty, then that's fine, too. Whatever makes you happy, okay? But as people, we need to really stop dogging other people and talking about, oh, she's big, and oh, she's, she ain't got no shape, and, you know. First of all, where does it say anywhere that we all are supposed to be a certain size, okay? Let me tell you. It says nowhere that we are supposed to be a size two or a size three or four or whatever small size. It says nowhere that we're all supposed to have a butt or a shape, okay? It says that nowhere. This is what society makes it up to be. And what's sad about it is all these girls that be on like social media, like the Instagram models and stuff, don't get me wrong, they do be looking good. Their bodies be looking tight and shit. I mean, they should if they're paying for it and then they're working out on top of it. Okay, but here's the thing. When you get older, you know what I'm saying? You have to keep up with that shit. You have to constantly keep up with it. But like I said, I'm not knocking anybody for getting any type of enhancements because let me tell you something. Me too, I have as well wanted to get enhancements done. Like my boobs, okay? That's why I do my bras and that's why I wear my bras a certain type of way. I have wanted to get my boobs done. No shade, okay? I have wanted to get my butt done too. Hello. And to this day, I still want to get my booty done. Y'all probably like, bitch, you got an ass. So maybe I want it to be a little bit more plumper and a little bit more rounder. So I want to take my fat from my stomach and put it in my ass. What's the problem? And my, my, and my titties. So, you know what I'm saying? That's what I want to do to make me happy. Only because that's what I want to do. But it's a shame that society has the right to talk about women of certain sizes and you know some people complain about women being too skinny then you talk about women being too big why can't you just let a bitch live like on some real shit let a bitch motherfucking live all right it doesn't say anywhere in the great book that we as people are supposed to be a certain size me particularly i i don't care I'm happy with who I am. Yes, I have had my issues in life where I have went on social media and have looked at other women and be like, damn, why can't I look like her? I want to look like her size. That's 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 what it'll do to you. That's exactly what it'll do to you. And I say this also because my daughter, Mumsy, now, first of all, she's 10 and she'll be 11 in August. But for one, she's tall. She's 5'3", so she's my height now. But she is not skinny, all right? First of all, and I don't really like that word skinny and I don't even like the word fat, okay? But she might be bigger to some people than other 10-year-olds, but you have to realize this. Even if she's bigger as in body size, she's also bigger as in height. So she's towering over these 10-year-olds looking down on them, okay? Because that's what she does. She's that much taller than these 10-year-olds in her class and in her school that she towers over them. And there are some other 10-year-olds that are like that in her school too that are just as big as in height and body shape or body, or body mass, the same thing. But like I have to tell her sometimes, I have to tell her on several occasions, okay? On several occasions, hold on. Like I've had to tell her on several occasions because she'll see things like on TV or social media and stuff and be like, I want to be like her size, et cetera, et cetera, you know? And I have to tell her, let me tell you something. You are who you are and you are unique in yourself. You don't have to be nobody else's size and you don't have to be like nobody else but you. Just be mumsy. Well, I want to be small like her. If that's what you want to do, then do it for yourself. Don't do it for nobody but you. But at the same time, okay, just realize that just because you see that little person over there and they small does not mean that you have to be their size. Like straight up, you don't have to be their size. Okay. And this is what I tell her. I said, we are all unique in our own way. And that's, that's some real shit. We are all unique in our own way. Like for real, everybody in my house is a different fucking size. Like my daughter, Nay, she is 16. She's had the size what size brown she wears like an f or g triple she, she wears a triple d since like the age of 12 okay it's like a triple d or the next size under and she's got hips and butt that doesn't mean that you know what i'm saying 
everybody else in this house is supposed to look like her. You know what I mean? She is who she is. I am who I am. Tati, my daughter, she is her size because that's her size, wuzzle, et cetera, et cetera. But what I'm trying to get at is the fact that your freaking mother-in-law or whatever you want to call this bitch, she ain't for you. Girl, she is not for you. It's sad, like, you know what I'm saying, that her boyfriend's family wants her or him, rather, to be with somebody that's smaller. Like, okay, that's what they want, but he's happy. What you need to have him do, sweetheart, I'm sorry, this is just how I feel about it. You need to have him stick up for himself because it really honestly feels like he has no say in the matter and he's just acting like a child and he has no say in the matter and he's just going to let his family walk all over him and not say anything. So this is the AOA highlighters, halo highlighters. So I'm going to use this one, which is called Blissful, but Allure looks just the same. So I'm just going to use Blissful. Um, yeah, your boyfriend, he needs to get some balls, okay? Because if he's the one telling you, like, oh, yeah, you know, you perfect, you the way you are, he loves you, and he loves you. That's all that fucking matters, okay? That's all that motherfucking matters. Fuck his mother or anybody else in his family, what they got to say. However, he still needs to um, grow a little bit of balls, meaning he needs to stand up for you. He should not be allowing his mother to talk to you any kind of way. He should not be allowing his family members, like his brother, to be bringing up the fact that, oh, the smaller girls or the more curvier girls that he used to fuck with look like this or look like that. He shouldn't be allowing that. You know what I mean? So for me, your boyfriend needs to grow some balls. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong, but this is how I feel about it. You know what I mean? Um, for two, I would not be telling his mother my business. And let me tell you something, sweetheart. You might be seven years older than him, but for one, you got two kids already. That's great. You have been in a relationship with him for four years. That's great too. Me personally, I wouldn't be really trying to have no more kids with somebody um, until we were like more established, you know what I'm saying? Because he's still young. This is their blush, their their Lumi blush, which is in the color Ravish. Um, I really wouldn't want to um, be having kids with somebody whose family doesn't know my worth. And for two, he's not really, really mature enough. And I say this because if he was a little bit more mature, then he would know that he needs to stand up for you as a man and he should not allow his family members to talk about you like that. So I definitely wouldn't want to try to have kids. However, you got your kids and it's his issue. Who knows what his issue is about reproduction? She didn't mention it, but you know what? Sometimes shit happens for a reason. But also, I will tell you this. You are, she is definitely right. Women like in their 30s, don't want to hear about, oh, you too old to have kids and your eggs is too old. Like, because let me tell y'all, the first miscarriage that I had, that's what I was told. I think I was like 36 at the time. That's exactly what I was told from the doctor. Like, the reason why I had a miscarriage is because my eggs are older. Like, dang, like, word. Because I got old eggs, like who says that to somebody? But it is very hard. hard it's, it just hurt. It just hurts. You know what I'm saying? And then when you tell somebody that, it's like it makes you think, like, dang, I'm too old to have kids now. That shit make you feel like really, really old. So I know how she feels, but at the same time, sweetheart, trust me when I tell you, I don't think that his family and you should have a relationship like that because they're constantly talking shit about you. This is also another highlighter by them. This is the AOA Halo and this is Sunstone. I don't think like you guys, you and his mother are compatible as in friends and shit, especially if she's throwing low, throwing low blows and jabs at you. Like seriously, who? let me tell you something. For one, I'm very self-conscious about my weight and still am. I have lost weight, but let me tell you, I'm only human. I'm a human being. I'm a human motherfucking being, which means that, listen, at the end of the day, I do have my cravings. I fucking love those fucking trolley sour, sour gummy worms, okay? I love those. Those is my downfall. And also other little things is my downfall too. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm human being too. 
I, I'm not going to allow anybody to call me fat, and I'm damn sure not going to let anybody call my daughters or anybody else in my family big. But it's, you know what? We have, we as a people really need to stop with the bullshit of what the size is and stop worrying about everybody else's size. Like, why the fuck are you so concerned about anybody else's size? Like, she's right, though. Her mother and the rest of his family, they really should mind their own business. Like, mind your own, what is, what is it, what is the problem? Like, why are you so worried about how big somebody is? Like, what is it going to do for you? How is it going to benefit you? So somebody is 400 pounds. You don't know them, but you like, oh, you need to lose weight. How is this benefiting you? How is it benefiting you? How is it making your life any motherfucking better and, or any less? Like, I need to know this. Like, how is this benefiting you as a person? I'm making your life better. Okay, so I need to lose weight. And your point is, okay, or how's it making your life better? Is it going to make you sleep better at night? You know what I'm saying? Is it going to make you pay your bills on time, gain money? Like, what is it going to do for you? Like, cause I need to know these things because if it's going to do something for you, then I need to know what the fuck it's going to do for you as a person. Like, seriously, this is the wonder Matte liquid lipstick by, um, shop miss a as well. So yes, sweetheart, Melinda, let me tell you, his mother ain't for you. And I guarantee you, I guarantee y'all, his mother probably be talking shit about that girl every chance she get. I could imagine what she was saying to the other family members. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you can't even call her by her name or even call her, oh, he's with his girlfriend, I can only imagine what she was saying about her behind her back. Oh, she's dead. Oh, I can't imagine. And obviously she's saying it because why would the other family members be like, we're not used to seeing him with women that size. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. His mother seemed like she real trifling. And I don't even know the bitch. But I've heard enough of her to figure out that she ain't for no good. She definitely ain't team Melinda. And she could care less. And if she had her choice, he would be with somebody that was smaller than you. So, therefore... Don't think that you are being treated like a daughter and a sister because that bitch could care less about you or your feelings. Now I'm going to put on their Wonder Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Fleek. The first color that I used was Bougie. Um, now, another thing is, I know you don't want to be disrespectful to his mother. Nobody really wants to disrespect nobody's mother. However, at the end of the day, you're a human being too. And to me, she's disrespecting you. Now, you should only have to say this one time and one time only to the woman. And this is their diamond lip gloss, Shop Miss A and Posh. You should only have to say this one time and one time only to his mother. Listen, I'm going to need you to stop talking about my weight and stop referencing me to other women or any other family members and just belittling me and my weight. This is who I am. And though you may think that it doesn't bother me, for you guys to be commenting or stating, please, it does bother me. And I would rather you not talk about me or my weight issues at all. That's what real women do. And if his mother got a problem with it, then she got a motherfucking problem with it. You can tell that bitch she can call me up. I'll handle her. Now look at that. I done killed damn near two birds already. I did real talk. And I did um, my makeup, which is perfect, okay? So we got, I'm going to do another Real Talk for you guys because I know you guys love it so much. So we're going to have two, okay? We're going to have two, so just bear with me because I think I'm going to have to change the memory card. All right, you guys, so this is going to be the last Real Talk of the day since I done went ahead and put on all my makeup. You know, I haven't done a video like this, Get Ready With Me, Chit Chat. Real talk in a minute. I've done like quite a few of them. So before we even get into the next real talk, we're going to cut the lace. It's, it's a closure. We're going to cut the closure lace of this wig that I made. And I'm going to explain it to you guys really quick. Um, but I'll definitely leave the link below. This is the Young Tay hair. Um, and this is the Brazilian. I think it's either. I think it, I honestly believe it's Brazilian. So this is 16, 16, 14, and a 12 inch 
but um closure i didn't use all two bundles be all three bundles because you know the hair is short it's 60 inches so the the tracks was like really really long so i used um i think like two and a half of them but i went ahead and i made it on a a deluxe adjustable wig cap so it's one of those netted caps that you make and it has like the adjustable straps right here so you could tighten it and i also did so some combs in the back and i also put um one of these things the um the elastic band so i went ahead and washed it and stuff and i styled it with a bang i'm not really sure why i did that but we're gonna see they said that this was kinky curly but this is not kinky hair this is nowhere in shape or form kinky hair this is deep wave but either way it's still nice hair it's soft you know it's really really soft so that's the one thing that i do like about it um and it's affordable so i did i don't remember if i bleached i did i actually did bleach the actual closure on it um and from the looks of things um it did work out great in my favor you know what I'm saying i said from the looks of things so the closure the closure did bleach really well and the hair it did shed a little bit but you know it is what it is they all shed so i'm not like too worried about that so i just wanted to show you guys this young tay hair so um I will post their information below. So we're going to go ahead and style this as well as that as we are going to read um, the next Real Talk. And this is like different for me because like I've never done like a get ready. Well, not different, but I've never done like a wig portion in my get uh, my Real Talks. Like I'll just put the wig on. But I figured this would be like the perfect time because that way I can showcase the wig because I did want to wear it today. And for one, I picked this length. You guys know I always have like longer hair. It's too hot outside. It's definitely too hot outside for like super duper long hair. But like I say, if that's what you want to wear, the hunties wear it. If that's what you like, then by all means rock you some long hair. You can rock it to your ankles for all I care. But this is what I figured I would do for the summer heat. And also just to make things look a little bit different it you know i was going to color it but then i changed my mind so you know it is what it is but yes young tay and i do believe honestly that this is the brazilian hair but like i said i will list it all below for you guys and um yeah so let's get into the next real talk i'm going to go ahead and read that as i am putting on my wig and styling up my wig girl and i did change my memory card because i, I just needed to change it Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the lace up. Hello, April. How are you? Hope all is well with yourself and the family. This is a bit long, LOL. So background is I have known this guy since 2006. I'm 25 now and he is 27. We have been through a lot, helping each other through school, financially, shut off notices, even helped him with, with bail when he got rowdy at a frat party on his campus. He has been living in another state, let's say Illinois, and I live in Massachusetts. So we have been doing the long distance thing since his family moved a year ago before he went to college. It has been working with visits and such, but we ended up breaking up because I felt too young to be tied down. But we were doing the whole we are still my best friends, but we were free to pursue other relationships if he wanted one. Um... If, he, if we wanted one thing. Fast forward to last year of spring of 2017. We had a huge blowout and I just stopped talking to him altogether. The only tie was a cell phone bill in his name, but he had agreed to pay it until the contract was up. And he always keeps his word about things, he, um, things like that. Now, during this time we were together, I somehow gave him my best friend's number um, after Okay, wait. Now, during this time, we were together. Um, we were together. I somehow gave him my best friend's number. I met her after he moved away. I just, just in case he couldn't, he couldn't get in touch with me. So that means they were still together, but he gave her his, her best, he, she gave him her best friend's number just in case he couldn't get in touch with her. Okay. I don't mind him having her number or if they're chatting about their common interests like TV shows, etc., They have never been physically together alone in the same room. When he would come over, we would spend quality time alone out of the city. But when I stopped talking to him, he started messaging her to get to me, which I expected. I told my friend, y'all can talk about movies and TV. Just leave me out of it. Don't talk about me. She would tell me every once in a while that he had texted her and I didn't mind. So when I recently started talking to him again, 
two weeks later, he has a death in the family, an older person I would still contact. Um, um, I would still contact even when we weren't speaking to one each other or we were broken up. And who does he text his news to first? My best friend. Then he texts me the next day to tell me about it. I chalk it up to stress and mourning his family member. But a month goes by and I'm like, I don't think you should be so buddy buddy with my best friend as um, like you can't come back into my life and demand that of me. She's my friend now too. And she's nice. Oh, excuse me. So he says to her, you can't come back into my life and demand that of me. She's my friend now too. And she's nice and very considerate. And the only reason I told her first about the death is because me and her are in constant contact. I know I may be acting t to territorial, but how come she didn't let me know she was texting my ex almost every day, all day? I look, I go look in the text log on the bill and they literally text all day, sometimes until 2 a.m. And when I compare call logs, I'm sometimes on the phone with him while he's texting her. Oh, shit. There are times he won't respond to my messages for hours, but is messaging her back and forth. Or he'll text her before the text, or he, he'll text her before he texts me. I thought I could make our friendship work again, so it would maybe be led to a relationship, but now I don't know. Am I being crazy? Oh, and when I kind of brought it up to my best friend, I didn't tell her I saw the times that they texted one another, just that it seemed like a lot, okay? She like, yeah, I text him a lot because I don't want him to cut off your phone line, even though I never asked her to do that and told her countless times that um, that wouldn't happen. And even if I did, even if it did, I would handle it. I don't know. She's been my friend for almost 11 years and I don't feel like making new friends, but this really don't sit well with me. Any advice would be helpful and definitely appreciated. Thanks. So basically, um, Let's see. I don't even think she, she didn't even give me no names. Okay. So the girl that wrote me, she's going to be Carrie. Okay. And her friend, she's just going to be her best friend and her boyfriend. We're just going to call him her boyfriend. Okay. So basically Carrie and her boyfriend did the long distance relationship. Okay. But I guess I, they knew each other prior to that because like she said, they was always there for one another and stuff. Why does this lighting seem so dark? Hold on guys. Okay. So Carrie's best friend, you know, she gave her best friend, her ex-boyfriend's phone number, and she gave it to her before they even broke up just in case she couldn't get in touch with Carrie. Okay. Which is understandable, but you got to still be a little bit, you know, leery about that. But her boyfriend, Carrie and her boyfriend have known each other for years. Um, he moved away a year before attending college. His family moved away before a year before attending college, which is like, okay, you moved away and they still kept in touch. They've been doing a long distance relationship thing, you know, taking turns back and forth from state to state, which is fine. Some people can handle it. Some people can't. And this is ongoing while they're in college. Well, Carrie decides she didn't want to be committed and tied down into a relationship. So they basically became just friends after a while. They decided they wanted to stay friends, which is fine as well. At least they broke up on good terms. Well, he still has the phone turned on for him and her, her boyfriend, her ex-boyfriend still has the phone turned on for him and Carrie. And he said he's going to continue to pay for it, which is very nice because some people won't even do no shit like that. Okay. So, but him being a gentleman, this is what he said he was going to do. And he always keeps his promise. That's nice also. So meanwhile, while they're not together anymore, Carrie's so-called bestie and him are, and her ex are texting each other and communicating. Now she didn't say anything about them talking verbally, but she did say that, you know, I don't like this way. Like, she did say that they have been communicating um, through text messages and such. And I guess she basically felt like it's getting a little bit carried away to her and that the shit needs to put a halt. Some of that shit needs to stop. I could totally understand that. But her ex-boyfriend, which is, you know, basically, I guess they're trying to work things out, her and him, so they can get back together. He feels like you can just come back into my life and feel like, oh, I can't text her and I can't communicate with her anymore because she has been in contact, constant contact with me for all these months and times that me and you have been apart. 
Okay, that's cool. That's fine and dandy too. However, there's like a little thin line to shit. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, like that's your friend, your your ex girlfriend's friend. Me personally, I wouldn't ever gave him or gave my best friend his phone number. Okay, that's one thing I wouldn't have done. But you know, and then again, if it was no harm intended, then I guess maybe so. You know, just like you said in case you never could get in touch with me or something happens to me, at least you have his number where you can reach out and let him know or vice versa, all right? So I can understand that. However, where did she ever say that y'all supposed to become best friends and talk to each other all the motherfucking time? Like, that part right there, I would have been like, um, yeah, Shanene, you won't have to chill with the text messaging and shit to my ex-boyfriend. Now, Carrie's girlfriend, her her bestie, rather, is telling her the only reason why she's talking to, we're going to say Doug, we're going to call her ex-boyfriend Doug, Doug all the time and text messaging him is so that he doesn't turn Carrie's phone line off. I ain't never heard no lame excuse like that in my motherfucking life. So you telling me you just talking to my ex-boyfriend all the time and communicating with him all the time so is because you don't want him to turn my phone, off, phone line off? Bitch, what makes you think that because your conversations is that motherfucking good that he's not going to turn my phone line off? Like, where do you think that that's going to work? Like, I don't even see that as making any sense. To me, that seems a little bit fishy. So you are telling me that the only reason why you're talking to Doug so motherfucking much is because you don't want him to turn off my phone line. Hmm. Does that make sense to anybody else? Like, I'm just trying to figure this out. Does that make sense to you guys that she is only talking to Doug, her best her best friend's ex-boyfriend, so he don't turn the phone off? Like, if he said he was going to keep the phone on, then he's, he's going to keep the phone on. And who said it was your place to make sure of that? Second of all, if the nigga cut the phone off, then let his bitch ass cut the phone off. Who gives a fuck? That's that's me. Like, oh, you want to turn it off? All right. Well, you go ahead. You made a promise, but you didn't keep it. All right, then I'll get my own phone. I think it's more to the story than that because, for one, Doug has been texting her while he's been on the phone with Carrie. But, two, they, they, have, they just got a little bit too friendly for me. What would I do? Okay, so what I would do is, for one, I'd have to ask her again, what makes her think that her conversation is going to save Doug from turning my phone line off, okay? That's the first thing that I'm about to ask that girl. Second of all, I would have to basically say to him, well, do you ask him, do you want to be with her? Because you guys have gotten really comfortable and close. And if you want to be with her, please be honest and tell me because that's what I would start feeling like. Like, do you want to be with this bitch? Because you're constantly on the phone with her. You're talking to her all the time. You're texting her. You're telling her shit before you tell me. Like, I say I would feel some type of way. I would definitely feel jealous, you know. But here's the thing. You can't always tell your friends all your business, especially when it comes to do with your man. Because if that bitch ain't got a man, then listen, sometimes they want to take what you got. So you have to be real mindful when talking to your friends about your man and telling them your business and any of your information that goes on between you and your man. Because that's something that sometimes needs to be kept between you and your man. And not only that, but sometimes females, even if you've been friends with them for 11 years, they can become so freaking grimy. Okay, and that's the best word that I can say it because I say grimy because you may think they're your friends and they portray as such. And in the back of their mind and in their head, they have been plotting for God knows how long to, to take from you or to use you or to just get what you have in general, which sucks because you thought that was your friend. And that's why I say that they're grimy because if anybody could do something like that, then it's grimy. Now, mind you, that's your friend. You and her have been friends for 11 plus years, okay? So it would really suck on her part if that's the type of friend she is. But, you know, do you know that for a fact? How often do they speak? You already know that because you have been checking the call log. I would just be outright and honest and say to her, are you fucking him? Are you trying to fuck him? Like, what is it? what's going on and if he's really trying to get back with you and he's trying to be in a relationship with you then i will let him know listen 
I know that's my friend and I understand that you guys have, you know, been conversing with one another and have built a good friendship and that's great. Yada, 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 et cetera, et cetera. However, I really don't appreciate the fact that you and she are conversing or text messaging one another on a daily basis. This is what, this is, this is me. And this is what I would say to him. You know what I mean? And I would also say that to her, but sometimes when you tell people stuff, it doesn't matter if you tell them to you blue in the face, they still going to do what the fuck they want to do. Meaning if they got some type of feelings for one another and they want to fuck with one another, regardless of what you tell them, they're going to still continue to converse with one another and to contact each other. If you ain't trying to be dealing with him, then you know something, sweetheart, sometimes you just got to move on. Like, I understand that you like each other, but sometimes we cannot go back to to the baggage that we already had. Now, I know I'll probably, y'all probably be like, bitch, you ain't the, you, I know you ain't talking, bitch. You done got divorced. You got married and then divorced your husband and now y'all is engaged and back together. Yeah, okay, I get that. Okay, I said sometimes, all right? And in this circumstance, like, who's really her friend? Is it her best friend or is it her boyfriend? Like, are they both, like, against her and they both playing her? You know what I mean? So this is kind of like a hard one because knowing me and the type of person that I am, girl, I'd be all over the place with this shit. Like, um, knocking on doors and shit. Like, why is you calling this bitch? Why is you texting her? Why are you texting this bitch while you're on the phone with me? Now, see, that's the shit that would piss me off. So I'm on the phone with you and you're texting this bitch. Like, Doug, you're texting my friend. And I forgot what I called her, but you know what I'm saying? You're texting my best friend. Like, why would you do that? If he was on the phone with his girl, he should have been like, oh, look who just texted me. Melinda just texted me, Carrie. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I would have did. But then if he doesn't do that, you start to feel like, is this nigga being sneaky? Like, um, just trying to figure it all out. Is he being sneaky? Are they both being motherfucking sneaky or what? Because he's not even saying nothing to you. He's on the phone talking to you while he's texting this bitch. Too bad. You know what sucks? I, you guys, you know what sucks? It's the fact that you can't read. Like, you can see the text log and the call log, but you cannot see what they texted to each other. Wouldn't that be, like, so cool is if you can actually see the text messages? Like, that would be just, like, amazing. Probably a lot of people would get in a lot of trouble for that shit. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, it is what it is. Yeah, I really do think that you need to confront them both and find out what the fuck is going on. You know, and if you and him are really going to get back together, then he needs to stop contacting her and she needs to stop contacting him as well. I get it. If you're not in reach and she can't find you, then she can contact him or if there's an emergency, et cetera, et cetera. But it ain't no emergency every day. So therefore, I feel like, you know, maybe she should just chill out, get a life, get a man. Or if she wants to fuck with him, then just be honest and say so. But stop playing the games because I don't think like any of it is cool. And that's just my opinion. Um, but I would definitely confront them. And then then again, I would just say like, you know what? Chuck it up as, you know what? He's not worth it and nor is she. But then again, you can't really say that she's not really worth it because it may not be anything harmful. However, who is to really know that it's going to be harmful or not? You know? That's, that's, that's the hard part. So I'm really trying to figure out this wig, like what I want to do to it, because like I said, it's hot outside. I'm not trying to die of heat, but I kind of like messed up the hair. I got some water. <sighs> it's always something. So I'm going to use this, which is my Dove conditioner, along with that other conditioner called hair and some water. This will definitely make the hair tame because I was getting a little bit carried away with the mousse. You guys know I love that mousse from the Dollar Tree and the hairspray too. And I was like hiking the hair up and doing all kind of crazy stuff to it. So for the most part, the hair does curl back really easy. This is definitely not kinky curl. Um, we would call this as deep curl. I don't know. What would you guys call it? It's, I think this is deep curl. This is definitely not kinky curl, not in my eyes. And you guys know, I, I haven't I haven't wore a closure in so long, only because for one, um, 
you know, my edges are gone and I have, in, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen them in this video as I was getting ready, but I'm really trying to preserve them. So I really don't wear anything with combs right here. So being that this was like a netted wig, I was able to take the bobby pins and just stick them on the sides um, in between my braids, which is cool. Um, but I haven't worn like a closure wig in so long. Like, I mean, not really, really that long, but long enough to wear, you know what I'm saying? I haven't worn one. So I felt like I was a little bit out of style and out of touch with the whole kind of like review for this hair because I think I did request um, a frontal. But sometimes when you request something, you don't always get what you requested. But you know, I'm not gonna say beggars can't be choosy because I ain't beg, but you know, it is what it is. So as for Young Tay hair, the curls, they do curl back really nice, which is cool. Um, I'm just going to say this is deep wave. Some vendors get like curls that are so deep, they feel like it's kinky hair. But no, it has to do with the texture. So this is definitely not kinky hair. This is deep wave hair or curly hair. It's, it, it's not even tight curls and the texture is silky. So you definitely cannot say that this is kinky texture. But the hair is still nice. So I will give them that. I'm trying to style it in a certain way because now, you know, once you get used to something like I've gotten so used to baby hairs that that's all I want. So let me do some baby hairs really quick. I'll be right back. You guys. All right, you guys. So I gave myself some baby hairs, you know what I'm saying? Cause that just makes me feel a lot better about myself. You know what I'm saying? If those who don't like it, they just don't like it. But, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this real talk. It was really long. And I know some people do like them when they're super long like that, which is great. I hope I didn't bore you guys. And I hope you was able to pick up some new um, products that I used in the video along with the hair by Young Tay Hair. And I think I'm pronouncing that perfectly. Oh, you Young Tay. You Young Tay. Because listen, a girl chops up names, but I think I got this one down pat. You young Tay. Okay. And if I don't have it down pat, then listen, it's down pat for me. But like I said, the hair is definitely not kinky curly. It's more or less like deep curly, deep wavy, but the hair is still nice. I just put some water in it and the curls popped right back. They weren't all frizzy. And that's the type of hair I like. It reminds me of my favorite wig that I be wearing a lot as well, which is my best lace wig. So this reminds me a lot of that. So if you cannot, like necessarily, you don't want to spend a lot of money on like a wig that's already done, you can always go get you some bundle hair and make your own. So if you're looking to make or mimic the style wig that I've been wearing a lot, then you can definitely check out Young Tay hair because these curls are identical and the length is identical to my actual wig um except for this is not a frontal but they do have frontals also so i would definitely recommend them just because of the curl pattern um it's probably gonna say kinky curly but hopefully they change that and they realize it's not a kinky curly texture or a wig the curls have to be much much tighter and the hair texture has to be different too but for the most part it's cute like i only use i think it was what did i say two bundles or something like that i know i have a bundle length left so yeah this is the back and i know i wrote down in the email 22 inches but this is in no way shape or form 22 inches okay even if it was uh maybe if it was stretched it might be but i'm gonna say this is not 16 either like i requested it's probably like uh, 20 or 18 so this is more or less like the length of my other one but yes you guys i hope you enjoyed this video i will post all of the information down below for young tay you young tay hair also for shop miss a definitely check out their new cosmetics oh my god i love their new foundation um it's so full coverage okay so it is so full coverage a lot of people will say to me oh why don't you wear your freckles more you should show them more first of all i don't wear them they're there okay second of all i do show them always they're always popping even if i have makeup on you can see them but unfortunately because due to the camera and the lighting they look like they're not there but you actually i'm looking right at them all right here i mean they're a little bit faded of course you're not going to see them as noticeable as when i don't have makeup on like when they're screen and hey what's up we here we freckles and we here but they're there so that answers a lot of people's questions for that about my freckles but the makeup from shop miss a is amazing like who's getting makeup for a dollar like seriously like this foundation i mean excuse me concealer 
it's only a dollar and you see that I was having trouble blending it because it dries really fast so normally what I'm used to doing is I'll put some concealer and I'll let it just you know kind of oxidize with the air and then I'll go back and you know like blend it in so that way it'll blend in stronger you can't really do that with the shop me say AOA um wonder cover hd concealer you have to blend it in right then and there and you don't need a lot so one layer is enough and as you guys see i did put a little bit too much on so you don't need a lot but you definitely want to blend it in as soon as you place it on so like maybe just do both eyes and then blend them in don't do both eyes the nose the lips the forehead and the jawline and then contour because then it's it's gonna dry so you definitely want to blend it in right away but they have like some amazing great products um i love of them this is like one of my new favorite um halo highlighters from them and it's a dollar so like it's so look at that oh child and like i'm not the best at putting on um blush sometimes so you know it is what it is i'm not a professional or anything like that and i never claim to be a beauty guru i just do this for the fun and i like to do my makeup and there are a lot of people that don't really want to be professional about it but they just want to learn some basic tricks and tips of doing a makeup and that is what i do you know what i'm saying so you don't need a bunch of stuff to do your makeup you don't need all of this crazy nonsense and magic and stuff like that. I just do it to where it's basic and it's easy for you guys and it's also affordable. So I'll also post the links to Shop Miss A down below. Um, but yes, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great day. I love you guys.